just playing football in the park in the state, just kicking ball. Fortunately enough, while I was playing football, just going to Sunday league matches, I went to Watford Development Centre. And then from there, they, they liked me. This is Jaden Malik Sancho, a kid once projected to take the world by storm. Today, he is no longer wanted by Man U, and even the English national team has shunned him. So how did he go from being one of the most sought after prospects worth over 70 million pounds to almost losing his value completely? This is everything you need to know about what Jaden Sancho did to destroy his career. It was clear from the get-go that Jaden Sancho was a special player, period. Right from when he was just eight years old, top teams in England such as Arsenal wanted to quickly have him in their academy. But he would join Watford instead because of proximity and additional incentives the team included. He would have probably preferred Chelsea if they had come knocking since he was a fan of the London side and had idolized Frank Lampard. Nevertheless, fast forward to a few years later in 2016 after joining Man City a year before, a journalist described him as quote, one of the most exciting talents among the England youth ranks. Playing for England's U15 and 16 teams, his coach Dan Machichi remarked, when he came to us as a 15 year old, Jaden was sensational and I don't say that lightly. A year after this, in August 2017, Sancho got on the world map after joining German side Borussia Dortmund for 8 million euros. This was just a few months after he dazzled everybody with his performance in the UEFA U17 European Cup. England may have finished as runners-up behind Spain, but Sancho had been named the tournament's best player. At this point, he was still just the golden boy that every team wanted and Dortmund was simply happy to have him. No one would have ever imagined that he was going to get into the hot mess that he is in today. But first, he played 137 games for Dortmund, scoring 50 goals and making 64 assists. This was good enough for the Red Devils, who splashed 74 million pounds to get him to Old Trafford in July 2021. The promising star didn't look so promising when he touched down at Old Trafford. He wasn't terrible per se, but he just wasn't as deadly as he was in Dortmund. In 82 features for Man U, he has scored only 12 goals. Things became worse in September 2023. You see, on September 3, 2023, Man United manager Eric Ten Hag was speaking after a 3-1 loss to Arsenal. And when he was asked why Sancho didn't play in the game, he replied, quote, Performance on the training, we didn't select him. Now, you have to reach uh, a level every day on Manchester United and we can make choices in the front line. Yeah, and so for this game, he wasn't selected. Sancho quickly responded via social media, saying, Please don't believe everything you read. I will not allow people saying things that is completely untrue. I have conducted myself in training very well this week. I believe there are other reasons for this matter that I won't go into. I've been a scapegoat for a long time, which isn't fair. Ouch. This just sounds like Sancho is calling his boss a liar after basically referring to him as people. But what do you think? Anyway, as expected, this wasn't taken lightly by anyone, especially Ten Hag, who asked him to give a public apology. But Sancho refused. His teammates also asked him to apologize, but the young man wouldn't budge. As punishment, he has been prevented from training with the first team and would continue to use old facilities formerly used by the players. But this isn't the first time Sancho is made to train away from the main squad. In the latter part of 2022, he was sent to the Netherlands to train on his own, while his teammates train in Spain. We will understand why later. For now, Sancho would also be forced to be on a personal training program after his comment. But here's the most painful part of it all. Our boy Sancho is not allowed to eat or even socialize with the first teamers. And when he wants to dress up, he has to lock his door because of the minors in the academy with him. Prior to this incident, Sancho had only featured in three games this season for a total of 76 minutes played after coming off from the bench on all three occasions. And now, well, it doesn't look like he will be wearing a United jersey again. But before we jump to any conclusions on Sancho's future, let us first try to understand where it all went wrong. Wasn't Sancho regarded as one of the most talented forwards just a few years ago? How did he end up a bench warmer? Sancho's first season with the Red Devils wasn't pleasant to say the least. His lack of consistency and maybe even more important his confidence was a big issue. Compared to his time at Dortmund, he looked rather different. He was averaging 73 touches out of 90 at Dortmund, but that dropped to 50 with Man U. His number of dribbles also went from 7 to 3.35 per game, but even worse is the number of big chances created. At Dortmund, that number was 15.3 per season, but with Man United, it is just 5. No wonder his first two seasons ended with just six assists and nine goals in total. But if there's any consolation, his team has also been faced with a lot of major setbacks. Nevertheless, his own performances have not helped issues either. Coach Ten Hag had tried to help him get back on his groove, such as when he sent him to the Netherlands for personal training. 
It seemed to have worked when he returned in February 2023 and showed fans what Prime Sancho really was by scoring in two consecutive games. But this form didn't last long as he would end the 2022-23 season with dismal displays. He hasn't been the same ever since, and that has led to his current situation at Man U. There are already talks that he would be heading out of Old Trafford when the January transfer window opens. His destination? Well, it might be Dortmund, since he has maintained a close rapport with the team's boss, Edin Terzic. But there are also reports that Dortmund want nothing to do with Sancho, and who could blame them? Sancho hasn't been playing up to even 50% of his form when he was still with the Black and Yellow Boys. Hence, the young Englishman has a lot to worry about. But why can't he just say a simple sorry to his boss who has been known to be a disciplinarian? Could it really just be about arrogance or a complete disregard for Ten Hag? Or does he have a credible reason for being tight-lipped? I mean, isn't that why former Man United skipper Rio Ferdinand said this after Sancho's comment? There's no way Jaden is putting out a statement like that if he hasn't in his own eyes performed well. That's the difference as well. On his chart, Jaden might think I've trained all right, but the manager might have a different standard. Besides, it is believed that most people in Old Trafford do not even like Ten Hag and would prefer to have him leave the club. It is rumored that Man United players are quote, not having fun and were not pleased with how he treated Ronaldo and is currently treating Sancho. Whatever the case is, this Sancho and Ten Hag feud doesn't look like it is ever going to be resolved. With United suffering the loss of key players to injury and Anthony out due to an accusation of physical abuse by three women, the Sancho dilemma is almost just another day in the office. Yet it is interesting to know how it will all end. It is also interesting to know whether Sancho is right or wrong in his position. Will he eventually apologize or leave the club? Only time will tell now.